Queens. My name is Laquitha. My name is Sam. I'm Alpha. I'm Jacent. I'm Adam. And I'm Danielle. And we are Nandi Wantanara. We are African drum and dance teaching artists who love and love to share African culture through traditional dance and drumming. That's oh, right. That's, that's, awesome. Awesome. Yes. that's right, Alpha. There's something magical that happens when you hear these drums. It just sparks something inside of you that makes you want to move and dance. Yeah. 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 Check this out. There's nothing we love more than seeing the smiles on people's faces when they hear the drums, sing the traditional songs, and dance the traditional African dances, all while clad in authentic African costumes. Yes, yeah. African dancing and drumming is an art form that's uplifting to people. Yes, that's right, Sam. And this video is part of the Kennedy Center's Education Online Collection of Teaching Artists Presents where teaching artists all over the country lead arts activities that you can enjoy in the comfort of your home. So today we're going to explore some movements from the African dance, Funga. You guys ready to dance with us? Yeah. 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 Well, if you're ready, kick off those shoes and let's move. Sing along with us. Come on, repeat the words after me. Say funga, funga, alafia, alafia, ashe, ashe, ashe. Again, funga, funga, alafia, alafia, ashe, ashe, ashe. Now sing funga, alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga means welcome. The word alafia means peace. And the word ashe means and so it is. So when you put all of those words together, the meaning of the song is welcome, we bid you peace, and so it is, we're glad that you're here. Funga is a dance that comes from a country in West Africa called Liberia. It is a dance that is done to welcome people when they come to visit you at your home in the village. In this dance, you will see movements that represents actions that you would do to make someone feel welcome in your home. So are you ready to learn some movements from the dance funga? All right, here we go. Now that movement represents your excitement when you know that your visitors are coming to visit you. You look down the road and you see them coming and immediately you start celebrating by giving thanks to your creator by pushing your hands up and giving thanks to your ancestors by pushing your hands down. Now for the fee for this movement, they are constantly moving. You're alternating stepping in a marching pattern and it never stops. Now the arms are bent at the elbows with your palms facing down. And then you push up four times and then turn your palms and push down four times. You ready to try it? Let's put that together. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight.
Now this movement represents you telling your guests to come this way, to come into your house. And then you show them the path that leads to your home. Now we're gonna start with the feet again. And the feet do a running pattern. So you step four times running forward. Like this, go ahead and try it with me. One, two, three, four. Good, again, one, two, three, and four. Excellent. Now your arms are similar to the first movement, except for your palms are facing your body. Then you extend your arms out, make a big circle and bring it back into yourself. Let's do that again, extend your arms out, big circle, bring it back into yourself. Let's try that moving just with our hands really quickly four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Again, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Awesome. So now let's put those two parts together. So we're going to run four times while we're doing our hands. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, and four. Nice. So the second part of that movement is when you show the guest the path to your home. So you're gently swaying your arms to each side with the palms facing up and one arm extended. Now the feet for this movement do a step, 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 step pattern on each side. But the key is to lift your knee when you're doing this movement. It looks like this, step, 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 and step, step, step. One more time, lift, step, 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 step. You got it. So now let's put those two parts together where we're showing the path and we're doing the step, 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 and the step, step, step. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, 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 step. One more time. Step, 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 step. Now, are you ready to put all of that together? We're going to tell our guests to come this way, come into our house, and then show them the path. You got it. We can do it. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time. Next move. Okay, step, step, and then you alternate. I think you'll be able to do that just fine. Now your hands are going to mimic your feet, okay? And then they go double time. One more time. All right, double time. Now, we're gonna put those two parts together and give this move a shot. as your feet first is that you're gonna step to the side and then you're gonna make a circle around yourself with step, 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 okay? We're gonna try that circle right now together. Step, 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 stand. Then we take a circle back the other way, all right? Step, 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 stand. Now, with our hands, our hands are up with our plate, but when we're turning, we bring our arms back down until we stand on the other side. All right, so let me show that to you real quick right now. Arms up, and then we turn, step, 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 stand. And then we turn back around, step, 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 stand. I know it seems a little complicated, but let's just give it a try, and you can practice this on your own. is a 
celebratory movement. So we're gonna start with the feet and we're gonna go right, left, up on our toes, right, left, a big jump, right, left, up on our toes, right, left, big jump, nice. So now we're gonna put a literal twist into it. We're gonna go right, left, up, right, left, jump and turn, right, left, up, right, left, jump and turn. Awesome. Now let's add our hands. They're gonna go out, in, and up. Yes, out, in, and up. Awesome. Do you think we can put it all together? I think so. Let's do that. Here we go. So we're gonna let them know that they have no worry in the world. While we're gonna do that, we're gonna put our hand on our hip, whirl around our head, wipe, and throw. One more time. We're gonna whirl, wipe, and throw. I think we can do that. We're gonna do it four times, okay? Here we go. good everyone yes today you learned some movements from the dance funga and now I have a challenge for you think of some creative ways to move that represent actions that you would do to make a guest feel welcome when they came to visit you in your home if a guest came to visit you would you give them a nice hug would you offer them a cool drink or would you play a game with them how would you express these movements using dance? We hope you enjoyed our video and will explore others in the Kennedy Center's Artist Present Collection. Thanks for watching!